Hi, welcome back. We are at the Elite Four. Like I said, we will fight every single member of the Elite Four in this video. It's all happening right here, right now. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's go. Oh man, that's so bright. So here's our first member. This is a uh, ice member, so uh, you're gonna wanna have a uh, fighting type or a fire type. Um, I got Hitmonlee out in front. Let's do this. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha ha ha, are you ready? Ooh, let's go. This is so exciting. Um, so I did say that her, she is like an ice person, but um, most of her Pokemon are all water too, so um, that's that's something to to uh, take into consideration. Um, so she's got Dugong right now. Uh, it knows Growl, Aurora Beam, Rest, and Takedown. I guess its most threatening move is probably Takedown, but you know it's not gonna uh, be anything crazy. And there we go, critical hit already. Um. And I also forgot to mention that I did level up um, my Pokemon all over 50. So um, so I got uh, Hitmonlee at 50, Starmie at 51, Victory Bell 51, Nidoking 50, Charizard 53, and then uh, Pidgeot 51. And I also gave uh, Victory Bell double team in place of Wrap, just because that may come in handy. And then I uh, got rid of Wing Attack and I gave Pidgeot Reflect. I mean, I guess I guess that's pretty good I don't know we'll see so now sh uh, she's gonna throw out cloister thing knows uh, supersonic clamp aurora beam and spike cannon um you're not gonna want to use a uh, physical Pokemon on this guy he's very good physically um, but especially uh, he's kind of lacking so yeah like that we almost took him out I was gonna use spike cannon, so that's gonna hit me twice. Uh, fortunately, it didn't do all five times. So that's Cloyster down. Oh, now she's got Slowbro. Slowbro is honestly pff, probably her scariest Pokemon. The thing knows Water Gun, Growl, Withdraw, and Amnesia. So, basically, what it can do is. It's already got really high physical defense, but if it ends up getting a withdraw off, it can boost its defense even higher and then growl you and then lower your attack so it's like you're barely going to do anything. Um, and I, it's just a pretty good all around defensive Pokemon, but uh, you're probably better with specials. It's going to throw out Jinx. I already know what I'm doing with Jinx. We're gonna burn this chick. Uh, so Jinx uh, is uh, her highest level next to uh, her last Pokemon. Um, this thing knows Double Slap, Ice Punch, uh, Body Slam, and Thrash. It's a pretty, pretty good moveset, but not good enough. And there we go. Our last Pokemon is Lapras. And this thing's got really high HP, so um, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to take out if you don't uh, if you don't have well-trained Pokemon. Thunderbolt, let's see what that will do. Critical hit, jeez. Gonna go for body slam. Okay, good. It didn't paralyze me. So there we go. That's Lorelei down. <laughs> I hate when people do that. Whenever I have voice cracks. I am for sure going to do a compilation. How dare you? Sorry. I'm for sure gonna do a compilation at the end of this at the end of this series okay. of how many voice cracks you've had. We'll have fun sifting through all the content. Oh yeah. Dude. That's that's gonna be fun. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. Well, just a taste. So, cool. 
Uh, Starmie is the only one who took some heat. Good for you, Starmie. All right, let's move on. I got uh, Victory Bell out in front now because this next guy is a uh, rock kind of fighting leader. I don't know. He can't really decide what he wants to be. You'll see why. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with my Pokemon. Nice. Connor, we will grind down, grind you down with our superior power. Hoo ha! Some some smack talk coming from you, Mr. Bruno. He starts off with Onyx. Thing knows uh, Rock Throw, Rage, Slam, and Harden. Special moves. Use special moves on this thing. This thing's pretty good physically. Um, I mean, he's not not like number one, but he's still really good physically defensive. Um, but not so much in terms of special. Um, so now he's got Hitmonchan. I could go to Starmie or I could go to Pidgeot. I know it's Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder, Butch, uh, Thunder Punch, and Counter. Starmie's probably my best choice because he's got um, all the elemental f um, punching moves with uh, the Thunder and Ice, and that, uh, Pidgeot's not gonna like that, so. Psychic. <laughs> there we go. Let's see who we got next. Hitmonlee. Ooh, where have we heard that one before? His Hitmonlee knows Jump Kick, Focus Energy, High Jump Kick, and Mega Kick. So it knows two moves that my Hitmonlee knows. I think Pidgeot can can get some uh, fighting in. So fortunately, it doesn't have the uh, the punching moves. Oh no, it's gonna use focus energy. It's gonna boost the uh, critical ratio. Not a problem for us. You guys are probably super bored. Just like uh, he's sweeping through the teams. This isn't entertaining at all. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, he's got another Onyx. <laughs> um, this thing is actually three levels higher. Um, knows Rock Throw, Rage, Slam, and Harden. It's literally a copy, except it's it's just a little bit stronger. Again, not a problem for us. And now, his strongest Pokemon. Machamp. Um, Machamp knows Leader Focus Energy, Fissure, and Submission. Fissure is a little scary, uh, just because it can knock you out in one hit, but it's super inaccurate. Um, but I still don't want to take that chance. So, um, I'm going to go over to Pidgeot, because it won't be affected by uh, that ground move. We'll fly up in the air, see what we can do. Not bad, not bad. Awesome, there we go. He doesn't even bother attacking me. I don't, uh, did he even get a hit on me at all? <laughs> wow, I need to check. Why, how could I lose? I don't know, I'm just that good. My job is done, go face your next challenge. Yeah, he didn't get a hit on me at all. That's amazing, wow. I just kind of noticed Bruno looks like he's, uh, completely naked and then that's a sensor block right there <laughs> <sighs> something weird going on here ew! ew ew he turned around i think he wanted to show me something nasty he old nasty old bruno and in case you couldn't guess where we are right now uh this is almost like a graveyard so sh this this guy's gonna have some uh some ghost types or this gal i am agatha of the Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome. How dare you say that about my Oak? He is still tough and he is still handsome. That was decades ago, no. Now he just wants to fiddle with... Fiddle with what? Oh, his Pokedex, <laughs> oh man. He's wrong, Pokemon are for fighting, yeah. Connor, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. Show me then. Um, 
So, this is Agatha. Starts off with a Gengar. Uh, Confuse Ray, Nightshade, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. Uh, what it'll probably try to do is use Hypnosis to put me to sleep and then use Dream Eater to, uh, get a whole bunch of damage off of me. But I'm gonna use Psychic, because this thing is part poison. We're gonna hopefully take him out quickly. Oh, we got a special defense drop. And why would you do that?! <laughs> The wow. thing I've ever seen. Um, and I mentioned uh, ghost type. Uh, she's technically poison, um, which kind of bugs me. I don't know why. Uh, Golbat. I wanna, I wanna get Nido King in here, just, just to use a rock slide. Um, so Golbat knows uh, supersonic confuse ray, wing attack, and haze. Um, I'm not sure why it has Supersonic and Confuse Ray both, because they'll both confuse me. So she could have replaced... She could have replaced Supersonic with something, because Confuse Ray is, like, a million times better. Just, uh, because of accuracy. But, despite what I say, <laughs> it still hits me. Nido King, come on, man. Oh, you withdrew Golbat. Ooh, Haunter. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll switch out. Okay, if that's how you want to play it, I can play the switching game. Haunter knows, uh, Confuse Ray, Nightshade, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. So it's just like her, uh, just like her Gengar. The annoying thing about Nightshade is that, uh, it's like a fixed damage thing, so, um, whatever level he's at, that's how much damage it'll do. So he was level 55, it's gonna do 55 damage. Alright, whip out that gold bat again. I'm gonna thunderbolt on you. Cause I didn't really feel like switching now. Uh, Arbok is next. Uh, Arbok knows bite, glare, screech. Yeah, screech, and acid. It's like, what happened to your voice? Psychic. Easy. And lastly, another Gengar. It's almost identical to um, her first one, except instead of Hypnosis, it knows Toxic. Um, we can't let that happen, though. Cause we all know, we all know about Toxic. It ain't fun. It's okay, though. It's all okay. This is it. Although, unfortunately, I have to heal that now, so... That's not fun. But whatever, Agatha's down. Oh ho, you're something special, child. Thanks. Mom calls me special. You win. I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Okay. Alright, and here we go. Down the long hallway. This is when you know things are about to get serious. Like, we're at the fourth member already. Here we are. Lance. Let's go. This is this is about to be fun. Ah, I heard about you, Connor. I led the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Connor. Mm. Fight me! Let's do this. Yeah, Dragon Master, Water Flying. Who even are you? Some fakey fakey, poser poser. No, fakey fakey, poser poser. He's behind me again, isn't he? Uh, so I should have mentioned Gyarados. Water Flying, Nose Hydro Pump, Dragon Rage, Leer, and Hyper Beam. Pretty good moves. Um, so Starmie's out in front with that Thunderbolt. Starmie's, Starmie's gonna be the MVP here. Like, all the dragons are weak to ice moves. My goodness, poor, poor Charizard was at my highest level 
And now Starmie is about to is about to pass him soon. So Dragonair. Um Yeah, he, he's actually got two of them. He's uh they both know Agility, Slam, Dragon Rage, and Hyper Beam. There goes Hyper Beam. Yikes, Scoob. Go ahead and surf. Just because I want to conserve an Ice Beam. I just got the other Dragonair. Um, now, if it goes for Hyper Beam, I'm not going to be able to take it very well. I'll, I'll end up dying, so... I gotta switch into somebody. Yeah, let's, let's get Pidgeot. Why not? Um, I'll set up a Reflect. Hopefully that'll, uh, uh, lower Hyper Beam a little bit. And Dragon Rage, uh, that always does 40. 40 damage. Um, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> it's just okay. Oh man, you're gonna raise your speed? Well, I got quick attack. Hopefully this will take it out. Yes! Yes! I'm the greatest! Ooh, Aerodactyl! So Aerodactyl knows supersonic takedown, bite, and hyper beam. Not a dragon. Uh, it's rock and flying. Electric will be good, um, ice, if you got either of those, and, may and maybe rock too. I don't know if, uh, rock is neutral with rock. We can try it. Oh, he's gonna go for bite. It's not gonna do too much though. kind of crazy what levels we're seeing here, like level 60, my gosh. Um, so that did about half, so hopefully, hopefully this will take it out. Yes, awesome. And lastly, Dragonite. Uh, you know, it's Agility, Slam, Barrier, and Hyper Beam. Right off the bat. Toxic? What? How did it not affect you? Is it because is it because you fly? You just fly around? Oh, right, now he's gonna boost his defense, so Rock Slide's not gonna do too much. I suppose I can sacrifice Nido King here if I need to. It'd be kind of cool if I could paralyze him. With the uh, with the body slams, just kind of kind of waiting for him to attack me. Stop using barrier! My gosh! Ooh! I'm gonna raise his speed. There we go. Paralyzed. Why do you keep using barrier? My gosh! You have hyper beam. goes the hyper potion so we're gonna have to put all that damage back on him you know okay he's starmie come on ice beam oh my gosh are you kidding me you should have healed Starmie before you sent it out. I have revives, though. Alright, Pidgeot. I was wondering, like, you're sacrificing Nido King, but you're not healing? What? Um, so we'll get that. I have two max revives. I'll use... I'll use that on Starmie. Just so I don't have to, like, do a half heal and then... a half revive type of thing.
Alright. Come back out, Starmie. Yeah, you gotta recharge. Go ahead and slam. Ice Beam, let's go. So powerful, but it didn't kill him. And there we go. Lance is done. Lance is so done. Way to work as a team. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Yes. I still can't believe my dragon's lost to you, Connor. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is... Oh, Of course, it's Blue. He beat the Elite Four before you. Yeah, of course. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Not for long. It's about to, it's about to be me. Me. This is it, guys. This is the last trainer. Hey. I was looking forward to seeing you, Connor. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I am the Pokemon League Champion. Connor, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Oh my gosh. The ultimate showdown. The greatest showdown ever. He leads off with his level 61 Pidgeot. Um... This freaking thing knows uh, Wing Attack, Mirror Move, Sky Attack, and Whirlwind. Um, so, Rock, Ice, Electric. Use any of these things, you'll be good. Um, I'll go for a Thunderbolt. See what that can do. Ooh, he's glowing. What's that mean? He's about to use Sky Attack. Oh. We can't let that happen. Critical hit. Yes. Yes. Um, now he's got Alakazam. Pretty, pretty scary. Oh. This thing scares me too. Um, so, yeah, he's very strong, but, um, his physical defense isn't really that great, so... Uh, you're gonna want to stick with physical attacks, um, or at least as best as you can. Um, Alakazam knows Psy Beam, Psychic, Reflect, and Recover. Um, we'll hit him up with Double Edge. And Alakazam is actually pretty fast, so be mindful of that. Wow. There nice. we go. There we go. Nice job, Pidgeot. Pidgey, that's a real one. Uh, next he's got Rhydon. Uh, Rhydon knows Leer, Tail Whip, Fury Attack, and Horn Drill. Um, Horn Drill is another one-hit KO move, so watch out for that. But it's another really inaccurate move. So Grass, Water, Ice, Ground. Um, stick with Special Attacks. Physical, uh, physical defense is pretty good, but, um, you know, like all the other ones, special is pretty low. So, right there, we've already got half the team down. Um, now he's got Arcanine. Uh, here's, here's the thing. If you ended up choosing Bulbasaur as your starter, he will not have Arcanine. He will have Charizard. Yeah, okay, we'll do Starmie. I was thinking about using uh, Nidoking, but um, I want to save the Toxic for uh, for some of his other Pokemon. So um, Arcanine knows Roar, Leer, Ember, and Takedown. Uh, really, its most threatening move is Takedown. Ember's not going to do much. He's got pretty low power. There we go, critical hit. Uh, critical hits all over the place. Executor, finally. Charizard can get some action. 
Executor, uh, knows Hypnosis, Barrage, and Stomp. It doesn't even have a fourth move. Fire. Blast. Let's go. Burn the baby. I was gonna use Stomp. Not a huge deal, though. Nice. Nice. And now here we go. With his Blastoise. And I should also mention with Executor, if you ended up choosing Squirtle, he will not have Executor, he will have Venusaur instead. So, that's, uh, these are some things to take into consideration. Um, and then, same thing goes for Blastoise. If you ended up choosing any of the others, other than Charmander, he'll have a Gyarados in place. So we'll go with Toxic. I don't care if Nidoking might go down here. I just need to poison this guy. So Blastoise, as you just saw right there, knows Blizzard. Um, also knows Hydro Pump, Bite, and Withdraw. So uh, Blizzard and Hydro Pump are pretty good. Um, withdraw, he can boost his defense. Uh, watch out for that. Use that Earthquake. And it's looking like we're in pretty good shape here. I mean, we have all six of our Pokemon left. Oh, wow, Nidoking. You lived that. Look at you. you know, Nidoking's a real hero. Oh, he's gonna use Hydro Pump. Not a huge deal. That's okay. Good job, Nidoking. Victory Bell. Finish the boy. I figured he'd make an epic and send out Charizard. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, well. Let's just be a troll here and use Double Team, the new move that I got. Real boost evasion. Oh, dang it. Are you kidding? Okay, fine. <laughs> That's it. That's the, <laughs> That's the Elite Four for you. Nice job! I applaud myself. Fun times, dude. I'm 52! Look at that! We defeated Blue. There's a new champion in this region. No! That can't be! You beat my best! After all that work to become Pokemon League Champion, my reign is already over. It's not fair! Life isn't fair, Blue. Get over it. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it. <laughs> That's how you show your aggression. <laughs> Darn, Darn it. <laughs> You're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Oak! Hey! So, you won. Congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander. <laughs> you have come of age. Blue, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I hate you, grandson. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four. But when I got here, you had already lost. Your grandson's a failure. Blue, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Man, that's like some anime logic. Connor, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Connor, come with me. See ya, buddy. Uh-oh, Professor Oak's taking us to the secret lab in the back. Oh. What's he gonna do to us? There's no exit door. He says, <clears throat> Congratulations, Connor. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Connor, you have endeavored hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Connor. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Squad up. Let's look at the squad here. Starmie level 53. Good, good Pokemon. Victory Bell, level 52, look at you. 
Always ready to fight with your critical hits all over the place. Hitmonlee, with your super kicks. And Nido King. Prematurely evolving. <laughs> I swear, like, when did I even get Nido King? It was like, we weren't even in double digits for uh, Let's Plays. Jarzard. What a guy. The list could go on and on and on about Charizard. But, you know, I'll... I won't say much. And then Pidgeot. Pidgeot. Pidgeot is the real bird of all Pokemon. Like, no other Pokemon compared to Pidgeot. I, it, flying birds, you know. Not, not all Pokemon. I'm gonna stop. You still need more Pokemon. Try to catch other species. That's what you say to me? I beat the Elite Four, and you say, Oh, well, you still need to catch other Pokemon. <laughs> well, guys, that's it. Or is it? We'll just have to find out. No, I'm joking. I'll tell you guys what's going on. Now that we have actually beaten the Elite Four, we can go to that little cave that was north in the Cerulean. There's that guy blocking the door, or the entrance. Now that we have beaten the Elite Four, he will move over to the side or he'll just be completely gone. We can go through and catch another legendary. Y'all know who it is. Mewtwo, the greatest of all time. That will be in the next episode. The final episode of Pokemon Blue. Guys, it has been quite a journey with this whole squad. It's amazing, I can't wait to do gold and silver. That's coming next, in terms of Pokemon. Tell me, what did you guys think of this epic, epic fight? I thought it was pretty cool. That was great, man. Yeah. You did a good job. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm proud to have been here from the start. Yeah, witnessing this sheer amazingness. The end. There we go. That's... That's the end of the canon game. Now there's just a bunch of random extra stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give this video an upvote. That would mean a lot. Make sure you share this video with literally everybody you know. And also make sure you give us a follow. And if you're feeling generous, you could hit the subscribe button. That'd be really nice. And also make sure you leave a comment down below this video. Alright you guys, we love you and we will see you in the next video. See ya.